Welcome to EA, otherwise known as extremely long-winded conferences that go on way longer than people would want them to. Arts. The new rock band looks pretty good. We've got some video of Spike Lee's Madden 18. We've got some video of Spike Lee's NBA Live 18. And FIFA. You don't need Spike Lee to make that one dramatic. Battlefield 1 returns to E3 to showcase some brand new DLC. EA remind us of how dedicated the team at DICE are at making content for this slow, strategic, and tactical franchise with wing clips, iron sight sniping, and jaws. They also show a bit off for the new DLC in the name of the Saar, with such innovative features such as nighttime and women. Ah! To be a professional athlete, you need to work hard, train for hours, minimize your weaknesses, and put your body on the line to help your team be the best that they can be. Or you could just play as them on the PlayStation. Don't laugh, these people are just as confident as the real deal. I was in doubt the whole time. <laughs> Brace yourselves for the second worst high five of all time. This guy right here is a big YouTuber apparently, but I've never really heard of him. So I googled him up and he runs this kind of small channel called Prank vs Prank, where he does some pretty quality content. But at least his teleprompter works. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Need for Speed Payback, I'm um. Quick, get in the executive producer! Hey man, thanks Jesse. Um... So there's a brand new Need for Speed game, but I think they need to pay back all the... That's not how to say it. So there's a brand new Need for Speed game, but I think they need to pay back all the burnout features that they've copied. You know how in some movies they use springboards to make car crashes seem much more impactful than they should be? I also like taking out cars by letting them hit you in the rear. I love the part where the stormtroopers blow up before they actually hit the tree. Honestly, this gameplay really didn't wow me. It looks heavily scripted, and the voice acting just didn't seem to have any energy that you'd expect in like an action scene. Graphically, it looks fine, but it just didn't sit well. I think this will be a pretty average title yet again. As the gameplay finished with the light speed warping helicopter, I knew that this wasn't a speed that I needed. Damn it! From the developers of Brothers A Tale of Two Sons comes A Way Out, a game with some zany characters who have a nose for adventure. This one looks pretty neat, although I do want a bit more detail on how the gameplay mechanics work. From the looks of it, it feels like Brothers, but with two players instead of just one, and there's multiple ways to solve each puzzle. The focus on couch co-op is nice, because if your partner messes up, you can physically slap him on the back of the head and blame the cat. What? Who's him? Of all the sports styles in the big name franchises, this seemed to be the only game to find a way out. In the future, you might be talking to robots who can fully understand everything that you're saying. And the neural network technology that those robots might be using could be grown from EA Seed. Moving on, there's this brand new title from Bioware called Anthem, and I'd love to talk more about it, but I blinked. EA finished off their conference by showing off Star Wars Battlefront Four. It doesn't really feel like a brand new title, but rather just the previous one, but with all the crap parts fixed. There is a single player now. There's no more fighting for power-ups. There's classes. You get to be the Wampers. There's space battles, apparently. I'm also an advocate for in-depth cinema caliber story in games. And then they showed a 20 minute match where the droids were attacking clones. You had Boba Fett, you had Rey, you had Gene Simmons. You got vehicles, this fight had multiple stages. I don't have a lot to say, it just kind of looks like the previous one, but with a bit more action. But if you ever wanted to snipe Boba Fett across a hallway with a shotgun, now's your chance. And the game will have free DLC like Titanfall 2, so that's nice. Trying to get some strafing runs in on those cones. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Come on, man! You, Missed that tower. You just, you just did it wrong there, buddy. So Sorry. I think they were about to go on about a mobile game as well, but GameSpot cut them off beforehand, so whoops. I play a ton of Galaxy here. Sorry to cut that short, but I don't think we're missing too much. EA's conference was basically six minutes of a pretty neat game, 40 minutes of just all the titles with a bit extra of content, and about 45 minutes to just sport. If you've watched any of EA's E3 conferences, you know that they have to please the sports crowd, even if they don't watch the conferences and buy the game anyways, year in, year out. Still, I could only find things to talk about for just three games, and I'm only even interested in just one of them. The conference would have been way better if a fair amount of these sections were shortened a little bit, and so they didn't rag on about innovation and new experiences every three minutes. Next time, EA. Next time. <laughs>